Okay, now we're going to just review uh, how to simplify fractions when they have complex numbers in them. So remember, we can't have irrational numbers in a denominator. We need to have real numbers, uh, rational numbers there. So again, we're going to use the conjugate method. And the conjugate method would say, for that binomial, you're going to multiply that denominator. So the original was 4 plus 2i. The conjugate is 4 subtract 2i. Whatever you do to the denominator, you've got to do to the numerator. And then you're probably going to use the FOIL method. You can use the distributive method or whichever method you're most comfortable with, but you need to use a reliable method for multiplying. All right, so here we go. So remember the FOIL method says the firsts, the outers, the inside numbers, and the two last numbers. You're going to do that with both the numerator and the denominator. Okay, so this is what we did. Let's start with the numerator. 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times negative 2i is negative 4i. 8 times 4 is 30, 4. 8i times 4 is 32i. And then 8i times negative 2i is negative 16i. I left off that negative, so I'm glad I caught that. Negative 16i. Remember, um, excuse me, i squared. Remember, i squared is equivalent to negative 1. So when you multiply negative times a negative, that will end up being a positive. But now let's go to the denominator. The first, 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times negative 2i is negative 8i. 2i times positive 4 is positive 8i. That's why we multiply by the conjugate. We get the i's out of the denominator. And then the two last, 2i times negative 2i is negative. 4i squared, and again, uh, we'll have to simplify the i squared in a moment. And that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so we have, we simplify these two things. Negative 14i plus 32i is positive 18i, and i squared is negative 1. Again, i squared is negative 1. So that brings us to... This gives us negative 16. 28 subtract 16 is 12. And this becomes 16 plus 4, because subtract, uh, subtract a negative, that would be subtract negative 4, gives you add positive 4. Now notice, these all have something in common. A 2 can be factored out. So what I did is I just rewrote each number factors of 2. And then notice the 2's can cancel. 6 plus 9i all over 10. And let's see. There we go. That would be your final response. That's it. Just be careful. Uh, when you're doing the foil method, but it's actually easier than, than you'd think.